All right. All right. Hey. Hey, what's going on, everybody? And happy New Year's. Welcome to Six Pack Abs. I'm Coach Johnny. I'm Coach Crystal. And I'm Coach Christian. And today we're going to talk a little bit first about New Year's resolutions. You know, to be honest with you, we all think New Year's resolutions are pretty stupid. You know, and, and kind of the nicest way to put it, you know, no offense to people that do set New Year's resolutions and that are successful in them, but let's be honest, I'd probably say about 90 to 95% of people that do set New Year's resolutions realistically fail within the first 10 days, right? Yes. Okay. It's just a quick fix. It's just a quick fix, guys. A New Year's resolution, the whole New Year, New Me thing, it's just you're setting yourself up for failure right from the get-go because oftentimes those are super lofty expectations. What you want to do instead is set a realistic lifestyle change because that is what you need to do in order to achieve that fat loss you want, that athletic body you want, that physique of your dreams. You can't just do a quick fix, expect to get that physique and keep it forever. You have to live the lifestyle, right Coach Crystal? Yes, exactly. It has to be a long-term thing. It has to be a change in your entire lifestyle, not just a first few months. Coach Christian, what's the most important thing that a person can do if they want to lose body fat? I'd say first thing you need to do is either start counting calories or being aware of how much you're actually eating, what you're putting into your body. 100% correct. If you want to lose fat, you can work out as much as you want, but if you're not reflecting a negative energy balance at the end of the day, meaning you're burning more calories than you're consuming, you will not lose fat. Head over to sixpackabs.com right now and check out the brand new six pack flex plan that we just released, which is going to base your entire life on that, making sure that you do have a negative energy balance, but it's also based around your lifestyle because everybody's a little bit different. All you have to do is input your stats into the calculator. It tells you exactly how many calories you should be eating for fat loss, and it even gives you tailored meal plans that we have created for you guys to follow. All right, now what we're gonna show you today is a workout that if you follow this workout and track your calorie intake and monitor that negative energy balance, you will burn fat as fast as possible. This type of workout by itself doesn't automatically just burn fat. Let's say you do this workout and then you go home and eat too much food, you're not gonna lose the fat you want. So follow the six pack flex plan, perform workouts just like this, and you can lose fat at a very rapid pace, we promise you that. Okay, so for today's workout, we're gonna do a HIT workout, high intensity interval workout, which burns as many calories as you can in the shortest amount of time possible. Additionally, you can build muscle when doing these exercises. So you're kind of hitting, getting two benefits, killing two birds with one stone, if you will. Again, you must be following your nutrition and tracking a negative energy balance if you actually want this workout or any workout like it to, to help you lose fat, okay? So don't forget, head over to check out the brand new six pack flex plan. It's designed to do exactly that. Are you guys ready? Ready. Let's do it. Okay. All right, for today's workout, we're gonna keep this a no equipment involved workout. The only equipment you could say is something soft that you can lay on and something sturdy you can place your foot on. So either a chair or a step, a coffee table, something like that, if you do have the equipment, perfect. First exercise we're gonna do are what's called jumping lunges. If any of you have ever done lunges, I'm sure you recognize the how fast to you get your heart rate up. Well, imagine we're gonna add in some explosive jumping into it, okay? So what we're gonna do is 10 jumping lunges alternating your legs. So you have 10 for each leg, which amounts into 20 total for your whole body. Why don't you guys go ahead and show them how it's done. All right, great job. So what you can see Coach Kristen here is doing, he's exaggerating the arm swing. That's one thing that you wanna do. If you're doing jump lunges like this, that's very awkward, it's not right, you're not gonna get as much height as you can. You wanna explode up, keep that chest up, and alternate your legs. Coach Crystal's doing a very good job of keeping her chest upright, making sure that she's not too far over her knee. If your chest goes too far over the knee, you're gonna put a little bit more tension and torque on that knee, and if you have sensitive knees, make sure and not do that, okay? Okay, next exercise, Spider-Man push-ups. One of my favorites, this is great for upper body strength, but also a real nice tight core workout. All right, let's go ahead and show them how it's done, guys. You wanna get in a push-up plank position, Make sure your butt's not too high. As you go into the push-up, you're gonna bring your knee towards your elbow. This is a really good way to target your internal and external obliques. Make sure that you do keep your core nice and tight. Don't lose focus on that core when you start to bring that knee up, okay? Nice, slow, and controlled. Flat back. And we're gonna do 
10 of those total, okay? For our third exercise, we're gonna do what are called Bulgarian split squats. A fantastic exercise for your quadriceps, your glutes, and your hamstrings. It also does work your core, and it's gonna get your heart rate up, burning a lot of calories. So for those of you that don't have any equipment or no chair or anything, we're gonna do a slight modification. We'll show you how. Let's go ahead and get in the position. Coach Christian's gonna show you guys how to do it if you have a solid object like a chair or a box or something. Coach Crystal's gonna do the variation if you have no equipment. This is just called a regular split squat, okay? Go ahead, guys. Now what we wanna do is make sure and keep that chest upright over your knee, not leaning too far forward. Now if you do lean a little bit too far forward, You'll notice that that weight distribution might shift a little bit more to your glute and your hamstring. If you keep your chest a little bit more upright, you will use a little bit more of the quadricep. It's up to you. You want to find a position that feels most comfortable for you. We're going to do 10 repetitions. And also, don't forget to, about your breathing. Make sure you focus on keeping that core tight. Breathe into your lungs on the way down while keeping that core tight. You can exhale on the way up. 10 repetitions each leg for 20 total. You can see Coach Crystal is doing a really good job at keeping the weight evenly distributed from in the balls of her feet in her heel. Now, if you're doing the regular split squat, not all your weight goes in the front foot. You do have some tension and some weight placed through your toe heel, and you actually will feel it in your, your trail leg quadricep. Yes, you will. Great job, coaches. Good demonstrations. Last and final exercise, we're going to do line V-ups. Definitely going to hit some abs here. This one does involve your full body, so again, it will get your calorie burn elevated, which is what we need to lose fat. All right, why don't we hop over to the mat? What you want to lie in a supine flat position, so lay all the way back. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring your legs up and your upper body and arms up at the same time, kind of folding like a suitcase. Go ahead, guys. There you go. Now, the, the key is, is you don't just let your legs flop back down. Like Coach Christian is here, he's getting the legs up, but he's also resisting them on the way down, allowing a nice stretch of the abdominal muscles, which is a great way to actually help define those muscles. If you can't do a full V-up, keeping your legs nice and straight, you can modify and do a modified V-up, maybe bending your knees. Coach Crystal, you want to show him that, where you just do a V-up, but bring your knees towards your chest. There you go. That's a little bit of an easier variation if you can't do the full straight leg V-up. All right, everybody, as you can see, just from the demonstration round, my two platinum coaches here, their heart rates are elevated. So just imagine linking together a couple rounds of that into intervals. It's a fantastic way to burn the maximum amount of calories in the shortest amount of time. And like we said before, if you're tracking a calorie deficit, this is literally, literally the fastest way to lose body fat, okay? So what we're gonna do is have the coaches demonstrate a full round for you guys. We're gonna do 10 repetitions on each one. Those single-sided exercises, we are doing 10 repetitions on each side. For those of you at home, if you're a beginner, shoot for two to three rounds. You wanna rest about 60 to 120 seconds between your rounds. If you're intermediate, shoot for three to four rounds. And if you're advanced, five to seven rounds, keeping that rest period closer to that 60 seconds in between each round. You guys ready? Ready. Let's, Let's go ahead and do it. First exercise, we got the jumping lunges. Hop down Spider-Man push-ups right in the next exercise. Great job, Coach Crystal. Nine, she's a beast. Ten. Good job. All right, when you guys are done, we're going to hop up. We're going to go right into the Bulgarian split squats or the split squat variation. If you don't have equipment, Coach Crystal is going to do the split squats. your knee at the top of the rep. Keep a slight bend of the knee, keeping that tension on the quadricep. That'll kick up the difficulty probably two to three times just by doing that simple little adjustment. Why don't we show them the non-lockout non version? That's it. Good. 
Good, doing this will increase the difficulty plus get your heart rate up even more. Great job, Coach Christian. All right, fourth and final exercise, we'll hop down for some line V-ups. Coach Crystal's doing the modified knees to chest V-up. Coach Christian's doing the full on line V-up. It doesn't matter which one you do, you just wanna do it effectively and do what you can to your ability. Now that's one round. How do you guys feel? Winded. Feel All right, a little <laughs> winded. Yeah, good. One more sets to go. Heart rate's up. And these are these are two athletes, guys. These, these you know, Coach Crystal and Coach Christian, they train five, six, sometimes seven days a week. They do cardio that, and as you can see, something is what looks as simple as that is actually can be very difficult. And like we said, you follow it and do it the right way with intensity and you track your calories and sharing that calorie deficit, you will lose fat. We promise you that. It's true. All right. Now, if you guys have any questions on this exercise or our new six pack flex plan or anything, make sure and comment below. Let's go ahead and have you guys click on that button in the top right corner. Turn your notifications on. That way you're notified anytime we put out a new workout or any more content. Give us a subscribe, give us a like on Facebook, and we'll see you guys soon. This is Coach Johnny. Coach Crystal. Coach Christian. Six-pack abs. Have a great day and a happy new year. Have a good one, guys.